Happy to finally have a plan of action. City and regional councillors, along with staff, announcing the timeline and cost of the long-awaited Dunedin Bus Hub. The new $4.4 million hub will create 10 bus bays along both sides of Great King Street, outside Dunedin's police station and community house. Otago Regional Councillor Michael Deeker says it's a good move for the city. It's hugely positive. Uh, one, it, it enables passengers to know exactly where they need to come to catch whatever route they're catching. There'll be real-time information, there'll be Wi-Fi, there'll be coffee, there'll be all sorts of things, toilets and so on. City Councillor Kate Wilson says it'll be a valuable addition to the city's public transport network. Especially for the people that can't drive, and whether it's young people or old people or people who don't have access to a car, it just makes it, um, the city work so much better. And I'm just thrilled as a city councillor to see the regional council investing in the residents of Dunedin to have that as an opportunity. There have been concerns from retailers about disruption to traffic. Councillors concede there will be significant disruption, but contractors will try and minimise it as much as possible by working round the clock. At least one road would remain open during daytime hours and pedestrian access will be maintained to retailers and the police station. You can pick holes in anything, but I think we need to make it work as a city. Well, we've talked to them all a lot, uh, right through the planning phase, and uh, there was some discomfort at times, but I think that's all been accommodated and the best I've heard today from our, our regional council officials is that the retailers are happy. It's hoped the new bus hub will be ready by November this year. In Dunedin, for the South Today.